Hey, what's up guys? I'm Adi. Welcome back to this web design touch series. Now, last time we finished our design in Photoshop. Today we'll start by writing some markup for that index page and we'll continue in the next videos with the CSS. But first things first, let's fire up Coda and see what we got here. Uh, I made a couple of uh, folders and files just to speed things up. We have a styles.less, uh, which contains some basic reset styles and also some uh, parametric mixins that we're going to use. Uh, we have an images folder, which contains some icons, like a fav icon and some touch icons. And also we have an index.html, which is currently blank, and a JS folder that we're going to use later on in the series. But for now, let's fire up index.html and write some starting HTML. Let's give it a title. And one thing I forgot to mention, I already have uh, the project set up with live reload, which automatically refreshes the page when we make changes. And also it compiles um, the less file in the CSS file. Okay, so we are including our style sheet file. We are including uh, the HTML5 shim. And also we're referencing the fav icon and the apple icons. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have, uh, we include jQuery. Uh, right now we're not using it, so I'll just comment it. Okay, let's begin by taking a look at the general structure of the page. We have uh, the header of the page with the top navigation, logo, add, and main navigation. We have the list of articles, the sidebar, and finally, we have the footer. So we'll begin at the top with the header. So we'll say header with a class of main header. And that will contain uh, a div with a class of top menu container. Um, and that top menu container will contain will uh, have a div with a class of container and then a nav and then a list, and then a couple of list items which contain links. Okay, so let me explain what I did right here. Let's uh, clean it up just a bit and write some comments. Okay, so uh, this div with a class of container, this will actually be a class defined in Twitter Bootstrap. We'll use the Bootstrap grid to, to power the, uh, the layout. So that's a 12 column grid. Uh, if you saw some, some of my uh, previous uh, tutorials, uh, you saw that I'm using span two, span three, uh, and so on. Uh, span 12 to define certain columns in the grid. We'll do the same here, more on that when we actually get there. But for now, div with a class of container will actually uh, center the content in the page and will have a specified width. Okay, uh, header, uh, sorry, div class top menu container. I'm using this to define the dark area on the top. Now this is outside of the container div because it's full width. So everything that I need to be centered on the page will be contained in a div with a class of container. Okay, nav, ul, and a couple of 
list items. Let's do top link one, two, and three. Uh, also, since this will be a WordPress theme, it's really important that we offer support for multiple level menus, drop down menus. So we'll do the same here. We'll do this one, which will be called drop down. Yeah, let's add a sub menu with two, three items. Okay, and this will be level two, item one. We'll do this three times. And also let's add a level three menu right here. Same deal, UL list item times two with anchor tags. Okay, and this will be level three item one and level three item two. Notice we're not applying any classes to, to the nested lists like children or stuff like that. And that's really important because uh, WordPress typically will just dish out a clean markup with no additional classes. So, you know, we'll just make our jobs much easier in the future if uh, we're keeping this simple. And we're just styling it based on its parent. And speaking of parents, uh, just to make things easier uh, easier to understand, I'll add a class of top menu navigation to the nav element. Okay, good. We are finished with the top navigation. Let's move on to the logo and the add. Okay, so let's see div class container top menu container. Okay, after this, We'll say div with a class of container because we need these elements to be centered. And it will contain a div with a class of row. Row because we will have two columns. And then div span three plus div span nine. Okay, span three means three column, span nine, nine column. Now this comment job might seem a bit tedious or boring, but when you get to the point where you must divide your markup, like in a WordPress theme where it's split uh, through multiple files, then trust me, these comments will come in really, really handy. So, you know, spend the extra 10, 20 seconds now writing them and you'll save a bunch of time later on. Okay. Div class span three. We'll have an H1 with a class of logo, which contain, contains an anchor tag and an image. Okay, image source will be images, logo PNG. Alt is gonna be adaptive. Okay. And now for the ad, we'll place the ad in a figure tag. We'll give this a class of ad block and a class of FR. FR stands for float right. Okay, and that contains anchor tag with image. Clean it up a bit like this. Okay, image source, let's do images, demo, and we'll do add 468 by 60 dot GIF. Alt, 
um, add, sorry, for alt. Okay. So we've got the top nav, logo, and add. Next is the actual menu. So um, let's see, and span nine and row. Below this, we'll say HR. We'll just draw a simple HR to uh, represent that line. And then we'll have a nav with a class of main navigation. And again, this will have a bunch of um, lists. And just to save a bit of time, I'll copy this and paste it right here. Okay. All right, that should do it. Okay, so now our HTML looks something like this. We have the top navigation logo, no image yet, of course. Um, this is the ad, HR, and this is the main navigation. Okie doke. Uh, next up is the main content area and the sidebar. So let's write some markup for those. After we're finished with the header, let's actually write some comments here, like header, so we know what we're doing. Let's do main content. Okay. Let's see. Uh, both the main content, the articles, and the sidebar must be centered on the page. So we'll say div container, and that will have a div row, and that will have a div with a class of span nine plus on the side of the class of span three. Okay, now the span nine div will be used for the main articles. So let's say articles. Now the aside, which is a new HTML5 element, will represent the sidebar. So let's add an additional class of main sidebar. Okay, sidebar. Okay, nice. Uh, next up, let's have a look. Next in line will actually be the footer, but let's not rush things. Um, we'll conclude this video right here, uh, and in the next video, we'll start by tackling the articles, since we have a bit of a complicated structure for each article. And also, we must write a separate markup for the post formats here like quote and link okay so uh this is it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one